Hello again, and hope you are enjoying Quizity Night. My name is Nicole Roth, and I am the Administrative Director for the Kentucky School for the Blind Charitable Foundation. Now, during this halftime break, we would like to take a moment and tell you about another one of KSBCF's grant programs and how it specifically supports the Kentucky School for the Blind and its outreach services across Kentucky. Thank you, and best of luck in trivia. The mission statement of the Kentucky School for the Blind Charitable Foundation is to improve the education, independence, and quality of life in those who are blind or visually impaired across the state of Kentucky. So the foundation fulfills the mission in multiple ways. We first serve kids here locally in Louisville at the Kentucky School for the Blind by providing a yearly grant to the school that they can then use to purchase anything from assistive technology to classroom needs, field trips, programs. The Kentucky School for the Blind Charitable Foundation, I think is an amazing organization. Uh, they help our school every, every year. They send, a, we get a grant from them and from the Charitable Foundation and it helps pay for, uh, you know, the big programs, our summer work program, our uh, summer enrichment program, uh, our athletic program. And, you know, uh, teachers can ask for the technology. They ask for projects that they want to fund. Uh, so they, uh, the Kentucky School for the Blind helps provide money so that our students can experience those projects and be in those programs. I would describe the KSP Charitable Foundation as an invaluable resource to the school and to students out in the state. They provide both monetary resources and also their, um, they create activities and opportunities for students to um, and families to collaborate and learn from one another. So I, my name is Peggy Sinclair Morris, and I am the principal of the Kentucky School of the Blind. So the Kentucky School for the Blind Charitable Foundation grant funds assistive technology for our students, which would include Braille note touches, um, which are refreshable Braille. It's like a, almost like a little computer with a refreshable Braille display on it. Um, other kinds of assistive technologies, CCTVs. The Charitable Foundation funds our Vision clinics, which we are incredibly fortunate in the state to have sort of a mobile low vision clinic that travel around the state and provide services for students all across the Commonwealth. Um, so typically we have anywhere from 15 to 20 clinics per year. Those clinics are held once again throughout the state of Kentucky and they are free to students and the students come and they are evaluated by an optometrist who specializes in low vision services. That optometrist then determines what does that particular student need? Not just, you know, what is their acuity, but also what type of assistive technology, anything from a dome magnifier to sunglasses to a laptop or other types of magnifiers, what would work best for that student in the school setting, but then also at home too. Uh, they also help students. We have, uh, you know, we bring in students from across the state for our summer work program and our summer enrichment program. Uh, me personally, I work with the summer work program. We bring up to 20 students from all over Kentucky to work at Kentucky Kingdom, the local zoo, and the American Greenhouse for the Blind. And that is pretty much funded by the Kentucky School for the Blind Charitable Foundation. And they help do all of our all of our work programs so the students who uh, want to come through it from across the state to work in our summer work program that they help fund the food that the, the students eat and they support that program right after inside every year is another ksbcf sponsored event the kentucky school for the blind summer work program in this program blind students are actually placed on to real job sites to see what it's like to get some work experience my first year, I was working at Kentucky Kingdom in the Hurricane Bay Food Court, pouring drinks and making pretzels and all that cool stuff. 
And my second year, I was actually working at the American Printing House for the Blind in their assistive technology department, which, if you'll recall, is what I actually wanted to do for my job. So thanks to KSBCF, I have some great work experience under my belt already, and now I'm more prepared for an internship or a full job when I get around to it. Charitable Foundation Funds Insight Program or Post-Secondary Prep Program at Moorhead State University for students that are in high school and are looking to go to college or junior college or a technical school. It was a week-long program in June, and I thought, oh, I gotta go to that. So I went, and let me tell you, it was a wonderful experience. I got to see what it was like to stay in a dorm, eat in a dining hall, and go to class, and all that good stuff. We'd have all kinds of guest speakers come talk to us. They had professors come. They had students come. They had people from the college itself, like people from the Accessibility Resource Center, and all kinds of great people, just to tell us what to expect when we got to college. I've been to this program for two years now, and it's really helped me become more confident about going to university. So the Kentucky School for the Blind Charitable Foundation offers two types of scholarships. First is the Will Evans Scholarship. So this is a yearly scholarship of $2,000 that any student who is enrolled in some type of post-secondary education can apply for on a yearly basis. So they can apply for $2,000 yearly for up to five years. The second is the Insight Scholarship. Insight is the program that we have at Moorhead State University for college or post-secondary bound students. And any student who completes two years at the Insight program is then eligible to receive a laptop from us and then also a $5,000 scholarship that we send directly to the college or university or post-secondary school that they will be attending. So in the summer of 2020, during the pandemic, the Kentucky School for the Blind Charitable Foundation awarded eight Insight scholarships to students, and then we awarded 10 Will Evans scholarships. They provide support for Bill Roby Games, which are Junior Olympics held in October. Students from Schools for the Blind in Indiana, Ohio, Tennessee, visually impaired preschool service students come, and then students from Jefferson County Public Schools come. So we are very fortunate to have the support of the foundation. Our sports program is funded by the Kentucky School for the Blind Charitable Foundation. So they help pay for the kids to go go out of state to compete with other blind schools and they pay for the dormitories, they pay for the food that the students eat, uh, they pay for the, the uniforms that the students wear. So there are students who come from families who couldn't afford that, they get the opportunity to still compete in adaptive sports. Last year in November of 2019, they gave KSB the funds to take a trip up to St. Louis, Missouri, where we competed in the sport of goalball against 11 other states. Goalball, if you haven't heard of it, is actually a full contact sport exclusively designed for blind and visually impaired players. And basically, this is how you play it. Everyone is blindfolded to put them on an equal playing field. There is a ball with bells in it. There is a volleyball-sized court with two goals on either end. Two teams of three throw a ball, sometimes upwards of 30 miles an hour, at each other for seven minutes and a half and try to score a goal. So last year, we got third place in that tournament, and we couldn't have done it without KSBCF's help. For the upcoming year, we will keep moving forward, as always. We'll provide you know, grants to organizations and individuals, the Country School for the Blind, other partners like VIPS, Radio I, et cetera. But we will also, you know, look at perhaps new ways to assist individuals and organizations throughout the state of Kentucky. You know, given the pandemic, given COVID, we have to be fluid and open to doing things differently, such as this, being virtual. But then also we expect to get some unique and different types of requests. So we know that for now, we're not going to be doing anything in person, but we hope to have more online trivia events, 
you know, just other ways to connect with people and you can also share more and more about our organization. We have a lot going on on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. So we hope that you will follow us on those social media platforms so that you can keep up to date on what we will be doing. Once again, thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of Quizzitine Nights.